The cool thing for me, and we give this message on, on stage, and this may be what connected with you and it connects with others, is that I'm not Billy Joel, I'm not Elton John, I'm not Celine Dion. Uh, as as uh, uh, Conan O'Brien once said, you know, if the guy who uh, used to read the celebrity birthdays on television is playing grand piano and people actually paid uh, to get in to see that, then we all need to go home and get our clarinets out of the closet <laughs> because anything can happen. And it's, and it's true. All it is is just believing in yourself. Practice. I mean, there's a chapter in the book called "Hard Work, Risk, and Prayer," and those really are the, the you know the three the three big ones. Uh, it's so much easier to be cynical and stay at home and feel sorry for yourself, Absolutely. but uh, we can literally do anything. You know, maybe you're not going to play in front of five thousand people. Uh, maybe it's two hundred people, or maybe it's a coffee shop. If you're you know if you're a musician, or or maybe you self-publish your book. You know, now th th right now. We are in an age where, where anybody, I mean, look at American Idol, look at So You Absolutely. Think You Can Dance, any of this. Look at all the self-publishing that's going on on Amazon. You can literally do anything you want. You can edit a movie on your laptop with Final Cut. Absolutely. So it's an exciting time. All Absolutely. right, Leonard, I'm going to ask you if you would please stay on the line. I'll put you on hold, and we will get your information so that uh, John can follow through on that very gracious offer to send you a book, okay? Sure, thank you so much. Thank you for your call. We appreciate it. By the way, Lynn, this is how you this is how you get more people to call in and say nice things about me and calling because they think they're going to get a free book. So it's, it really, I mean, I'm not stupid, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope we don't get any of those April Fool's pranks. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, he's great. Like, he's April fabulous. Well, for that up. <laughs> hey, we can handle it, right? You and I, live television, yep. our entire yep. careers. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to invite people to go ahead and email us as well if you're unable to get through because a lot of people are on the telephone line. Our first half hour is nearly up. I can't believe it, but John. We want, we want to leave people in this first 30 minutes with a message. What would it be about growing older or perhaps it's getting better, whatever, you, however you approach aging in this new millennium, what advice would you leave with people? Uh, hurry up and live your life. You know, I, I made uh, some real classic mistakes early on in my, in my life thinking that, you know, I was going to, for some reason when you're 30, you think you're going to get a do-over. You know, and, and you don't. And when you reach 50, all of a sudden you realize, you know, like I was saying earlier, you know, maybe there's 25, 30 years, you know, left here. And, and so you, can, you have two choices. You can either, you know, sit at home, take drugs and, and drink alcohol and, and waste your life away. Or you can say, you know what, I really do need to make a difference. And I, and I think that what happens at 50, certainly for me, is, is you, you start to realize I want to, uh, I really do want to leave this world better than I found, found it. I really want to lead a purpose-driven life. And, uh, and there's actually that one of my favorite books, Rick Warren's Purpose Driven Life, is great encouragement to go do that. Have you done everything that you want to do, or is there still more to accomplish? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, there's more to accomplish, accomplish and, and I really love doing the radio show every day because, you know, when I was doing Entertainment Tonight, it was, it was a great show and all, but I, you know, reading the celebrity birthdays is not much of a ministry. And, but when you do a show called Intelligence for Your Life and you end, end up, people connect to something that you connect them to, which is either how to shrink your waistline by, you know, a couple of inches or to be a better parent or to find your purpose in life, you get those emails and you realize, you know what, I, I, I have encouragement to, to, keep, uh, to keep going here. Uh, it, it is when you, f uh, and Rick Warren said once, he said, you know, when uh, between this day and the next, we will give our lives to something, the decision of what that will be uh, will shape our destiny. And it's true when you think about that. We, we give our lives to email. We give our lives to our car, to, you know, going out and eating at fancy restaurants. Right. You know, but we don't, we don't give our lives so much to each other. And when you start to do that and live outside yourself, your life changes. All right. Great words to end 